Hello students, I hope you all are doing good and uh, all of you have registered uh, to your respective join the group that are created by your class teachers. If you haven't, please join the group as soon as possible. Now in this video, we will be covering this following particular topics that is how you are supposed to enroll for your upcoming online MCQ exams, how you are supposed to attempt the online MCQ exams, how you are supposed to check the result and uh, where, how and when. To watch the online lectures at the same time we'll be looking at how to post your doubts related to the online mcq exams so without wasting our time let us jump to the video this is a registration page uh, i hope you all have registered to your account if you haven't then uh, please do it as soon as possible this is the registration page this is the registration page now since i have already registered i will log into my account Okay, so I'll be using my email ID and my password and click on login. Now, before starting with the process of enrolling for the exams as well as uh, giving the answers for the MCQs, let us understand the basic features that you can see over here. This user side indicates the front page, the first page that you see over here, you will get the list of exams that you can attempt. Now, in this list of exams, there are uh, I can see two lists uh, are there. That is English exams. It is a, a dummy exam that I have created for this uh, particular English exam. This is a dummy exam that I have created for this particular video. And this physics exam is the upcoming exam that uh, you are going to give. Okay. Now, in this enroll exam page, you will find a table of the exams that you have enrolled. Okay. Since I haven't enrolled any of the exams, I can't see any exam over here. In the profile page, you can see the details that you have submitted while creating an account. This is the profile page. Okay. So if you wish, you can edit your details from here. In the change password page, you can change a password. Over here, you can change a password. Okay. Logout is to log out of this particular screen. Now we will enroll for the for an exam. So to enroll for an exam, select the exam that you want to enroll. So suppose that uh, I'll be enrolling for this dummy exam, GK based questions. As soon as you click on the exams, you will find the exam details that uh, exam is supposed to start at 14, 15, 14, 15 means four o'clock and 15 minutes. And on 26, that is today, it will be five minutes exam. The questions, the total number of questions will be five. Uh, these are the marking details. Okay. Now you just have to click on this enroll it button. As soon as you click on this button, you will get a message that enroll successful. You are successfully enrolled for this exam. Now, if I will go on this particular enroll exam page, then I can see that this exam is particular enrolled over here. This particular exam is enrolled over here and uh, I just have to wait for the status to get started. As soon as the status is started, I can attempt the exam. Okay, since the exam is at uh, 4.15, and now it is 4.13, so we have to wait two minutes for this particular exam to start. Okay, now till the time we are waiting, I will tell you to subscribe to our YouTube channel that is youtube.com slash tpbatia college. If you haven't subscribed it, you should because we will be posting many study related videos online on our channel. This is our channel. Okay, and uh, you can find your videos over here. There are many videos that we have uploaded till now. Besides that, there is a playlist. In the playlist, you can find the videos of related particular subjects like electronics, electrical maintenance, English, mechanical maintenance, biology, maths. Okay. And uh, besides that, you should also visit our new website that is tpvitacollege.com. This is our new college website and uh, you should visit this particular part that is studies, SYGC studies. In this particular page, we will be posting subject related matters. Okay. Uh, if you will observe this page very carefully, then we have created different sections for each subjects. And if you will visit the particular subject section, then you will find a page for that particular subject. Now we will be posting materials related to the physics subject on the physics page. Likewise, we have created subjects pages for chemistry, biology, maths and all the other subjects. Now, let us check our exam status. 
okay so as soon as you click on the enroll now exam button you can see that this particular exam is started so i will click on this view exam button as soon as i click on this exam button i can see the first question is loaded over here with the four options there is a next button there is a previous button there is an exit button to exit from the exams and these are the buttons to directly jump to the particular question so to understand the interface it is very important now these are the user details that uh, your name your email id and what your gender is and besides that you can't select any of these options so you can click on next previous exit after completing the exams and uh, this part is very important because here you can see that uh, this particular color code indicates that this particular question answer is pending and this particular blue color means that you have answered the question so let us start to answer the question so uh, world tourism day is celebrated on so suppose it is september 27 as soon as you click on the september 27 you will get a message answer saved okay and you can also see here that you have answered first question okay now click on next as soon as you click on the next you you can see the second question now uh, when is the international yoga day celebrated it is june 21 you will again get a message so for each attempt you will get a message that the answer is saved and also this color will change also you can directly jump to the particular question by just clicking the question number it is 5 so here the question number 5 is loaded if you want you can load question number 4 just by clicking on question 4 so this particular question will be loaded so let us try to attempt this question who introduced green army for environment conservation it is australia answer is saved okay so here i can see that fourth number is blue now now i will attempt the third question uh the order of the tricolor of the indian flag from top to bottom is in which of the following sequence so it is saffron at first then green then white okay perfect it is answer is saved okay here i can see third one is saved and here the fifth question the last question is there ozone layer preservation day is celebrated on it is uh, 16th september perfect answer is saved now i can see that all the answer is completed now i can exit from the exam if you want to verify and change the answer you can do it like for example if you want to visit a second question again if you feel that uh, this particular answer is correct and you can click on this answer and save it again so there is no issue that okay so remember that after you exit the exam you won't be able to give the exam again okay you will be able to only see the result fine so since i have answered all the questions let me click on exit button it will ask for my confirmation and i will click on okay done you have successfully exited the exam click here to close the exam page fine perfect now i am on the hot page again i have already attempted that particular mcq exam so i can't see that exam now and uh, in the in the enroll exam section i can see that uh, your exam is completed it is still in the started state because uh, the duration i have increased for this uh, video demonstration it is uh, 30 minutes so the exam will get over at uh, 4:45 fine so after 4:45 you will be able to see the result uh, you will get a view button again over here and when you click on the view button you will be able to see the result uh, in the meanwhile let us again check our website okay in this website you will be able to see subject page okay this subject page we will be posting uh, the information over here and uh, now let us discuss the other part that is now let us discuss the other part that is how to attempt the online sgq exams we have done it now let us uh, how to check a result okay we will be able to check the result at uh, 4:45 now uh, online lectures now where how when to watch the online lectures perfect so to conduct the online lectures we have planned that we will be using our youtube channel as a platform and uh, we will be doing live streaming so i would suggest you to subscribe to our channel because so whenever we post a new video or the streaming notification you will be able to get a message from our side and you will be able to join to our channel okay besides that we will be posting the notification of each online uh, mcq exams as well as online upcoming 
live YouTube videos on our website as well. So keep visiting this particular pages so you will be updated about our upcoming notifications. Now let us come to this particular point that is how you can post your doubt related to online MCQ exams. So you can post your doubt on our YouTube channel uh, to that particular video of which video you have seen the online MCQ exams and uh, besides that you can post your doubt on our uh, website as well. Besides that we also have an option for online chat. Okay, so if you have any query then you will be able to chat with us on our website. Okay, I hope we have covered all these topics and if you have any question then uh, you can post the question in the comment and uh, we will answer it as soon as possible. Besides that, follow us on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube because we will be posting all the resources on all the social media platforms. So you will be getting the notification as soon as possible we post any content. Now. Uh, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind while giving this online MCQ exams. First, use the Google Chrome browser because all the uh, online MCQs exams will work very smoothly. And besides that, uh, how to post your doubts? Then you can post your doubts on our YouTube channel because we'll be posting the solution and uh, solution of all the MCQ exams online on YouTube. So you can post a doubt on YouTube. Happy to answer your doubts as soon as possible and also we have a live chat option on our website. You can talk to us over here also. Besides that, on each of the subject page, we will be having a comment area on which you will be able to ask your doubt. And uh, we will answer that doubt as soon as possible. Over here, you can see there are subject pages. And on the subject pages, you will be able to ask your doubt in the comment area. We will be having a comment area at the end of the page. Now before closing this video, let, let us check our result. Okay, so now I can see that the exam status is completed and I can again see the button as view exam. As soon as I click on the view exam button, I will be able to see my result. Okay, I hope it is good and I will be scoring a good marks. Okay, so a moment of truth. Oh, very good. So this is the correct answer. This is this were the four MCQs. Uh, this were the four options. This were the five MCQs, and this is the correct answer. And all the answers are correct. And I have scored five marks. Hooray for me! And as you can see, you can export this particular page as a PDF, and you have to export it and send it to your class teacher because it will be considered as a proof that you have attended the online MCQ exams, as well as it will help the class teachers to mark the attendance for you. Fine. So this is the PDF file and you are supposed to send this PDF file to all your class teachers after your successful exam is over and you are able to see a result. So I guess this is the end of the video and if you have any query again you can post it in the comment and besides that if you haven't started following our social media platforms then please follow it and uh, stay connected and uh, thank you very much. Stay home, stay safe, God bless you.